capitán americano. ¡Ya! ¡Ya! ¡Mátalo! ¡Dejé en mi hombre! ¡Mierda! ¡Ay, Ay Dios, Dios mío! I doubt you'll even remember me, Abraham, but it's been an experience. Good luck with the revolution. If you win power, remember why you won. Oh, the black water! Don't be right. I wait for when we are right. I need a rest. It's too dark. We remember this town. This is the town that we walked into in the introduction of the game. Alright, I guess we gotta go to sleep, wait for it to be daytime. God, it's so much different. It's so weird. Nope, still not. Still not the right time. Alright, there we go. Alright. Back in America, nice. Let's go see our friend. Not really our friend, but Edgar Ross. Bear one another's burden. Mr. Ross? 107. 109. Edgar Ross. 113. Upstairs on the right. 114. 115. 116. Mr. Marston, so glad to see you. How was your journey? Where's my wife and son? Being well looked after. Well looked after. I want to see him. Mr. Ross wants to speak with you. We've had some important developments. You want me to take out a gun and blow a fucking hole in your head right here? <clears throat> right now? You want that? Mr. Marston. You want that? Mr. Marston, I ask you to calm down. Why? Why? I did what you asked. I got you Williamson and Escuela. It's over. Stop playing games with me. No one's playing games with you, Mr. Marston. But if we were to play some games, there'd be some interesting ones we could play. Yes, sir. Like hanging you for murder, or confiscating all of your property, like that little farm of yours, or, or having you put in an electric chair. Those are the sort of games we could play. But we choose to play a different game. So calm down and play along with us. Where's my wife? 
<laughs> you don't forget. But I hear it's very nice this time of year. <sighs> Mr. Marston, please. I've never insulted your meager intelligence. Do not insult mine. We've done this little deal for your freedom in exchange for all your men and your old gang. You gave us Williamson and Escuela. We still don't have Vanderlyn, but now we know where he is. Then go and shoot him. No, sir. I want you to shoot him for me. <laughs> and then I'll let you be. The last thing I want to do is make martyrs out of all these people. He could be killed by some petty squabble by another lowlife. We believe Vanderlind is holed up with a group of renegades near the wreck of the Serendipity Riverboat. Ah, <sighs> yes. Another group of renegades. Obviously, the first group. Your group? Has, shall we say, been disbanded? Ha 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 ha. Anyway, Mr. Ford and Mr. Marston, shall we go? Oh, Mr. Marston, your wife and son are, are doing well. Let's both try to ensure things stay that way. Okay. Back to you, sir. Oh, Mr. Marston, one more thing. This is for you. You're too kind. See, I have nothing but your best interest at heart. Let's hope it doesn't go off by mistake. Weird how he started that sentence without, you know, opening his mouth. I have a patent for that, sir. This is an outrage. Oh, Mr. Marston, <laughs> you're alive. Hello, Wes Dickens. Thought you were headed to Peking. And so did I. So did I. It's a long story. But now it seems I'm being put under arrest and charged with narcotic possession or some other such nonsense. Ross. Narcotics. Have him release this man. Why? Because he's a harmless old fraud, the kind of man that built this country. And because he helped me get Williamson. Did you hear that, officer? The man's a hero. Let him go. Come on, Marston. Moral degeneracy waits for no man. Let's hurry along. Right, Mr. Fordham, onward. What's weird enough is that I know I noticed this. How did Ross and Fordham know that we killed a squirrel or that we killed Williamson? It's like we didn't bring the body back. You know, it's not like we mailed them a letter or something. You know, we didn't like send them a picture dead. They just took our word for it. We could have just you know lied about it. The whole thing. Stop on the cliff above, and you and Agent Fordham will go on foot. I'll stay with the vehicle and keep watch. And you'll do as I say, Marston. Don't try anything stupid. Oh, I think he knows what's at stake. Don't you, Mr. Marston? Let's find Dutch and finish this. Right. Let's go, Mr. Marston. So our new weapon. We're done with revolvers. Colt 1911. Which is funny because that's actually the year, you know, the year that the game's taking place in. That's when this gun was manufactured. Yes, sir. Vanderlind is the priority. We go in, take him down, get the hell out of here, quick and clean. You leave Dutch to me. We don't want you getting that suit dirty. If you step out of line, even once, well. I hope you're aware of the consequences. That suit. Exactly. Ahead of you. Seems real quiet, don't you think? You tell me. Maybe Dutch caught wind of things. An informant better not have been lying to us. Keep your eyes open. They are open. I don't see nothing. It doesn't feel right. This place is usually teeming with noise. Don't 
Test me, Marthen. Oh, I will. Shoot your ass. Did you hear that? Go oh, man. I'll wait here. All right. Let's find out who it is. Over here, I found him. Good God, that's her informant. Dust, what the hell's going on here? It's a trap. Shit, Marston, you'll have to carry this man. I don't think you can walk. Bastard! Wow. We need to clear a path out of here. <laughs> Look, there they are. My word! There's a bastard! You'll never get your heart. Oh, this way! You should start worrying, friends! What the hell's happening? Gun is so powerful. Really? Are you fucking kidding me? I would land on the water. Really? Unbelievable. You're embarrassing your surrender now. Stay with me. Put down your weapons. Actually, you'll follow me since I'm leading the way. Who's this? What in God's name is going on? Marston, lift this fellow into the back seat. Put him in the car so we can get out of here. Let's go, there might be more of them. Fortunately, we can't skip this destination.
We have to stay. Christ alive! What the hell happened down there? It was a trap. They were waiting for us. And who is this savage? A prisoner? This is the informant, sir. Do you speak English? Uh, uh yes he does, sir. He's the informant. Nostos. Don't get snarky with me, Fordham. We found him tied up on the boat. Then they jumped us. Nice of you to help us out. I know of a plan sending in two men to take on an entire gang of outlaws. Especially when one of them's an office clerk. Or social secretary or something. You such. shut your mouth! Tch. <laughs> I like the office clerk. So dumb. We gotta wait. Bastard. I can't see any more of them. Fordham, are we ready? Yes, sir, I think so. Come on, let's get back to Blackwater. Damn, that was close. All right, now we can skip. So, this is the office of an anthropologist named McDougal. He was thrown out of Yale for degeneracy. We should tell you something. Indeed, but he's been helping us deal with the natives in this area. They see him and they presume we're all idiot academics. Huh? Give me a thrown out of Yale oh, for degeneracy. Mr. Mr. Fordham? Good day! Good day! What on earth's going on here? Kid got shot in the leg. <laughs> Beat up pretty good. We'll send a doctor. Now, McDougal, mm -hmm. we need information from this fellow about Dutch Vanderlind. Can you see what you can find out for us? Do my best, sir. Make sure you do. Professor McDougal has been a good friend of the U.S. government, Mr. Marston, just like you. Why don't you see if you can help him in his study of the native problem in this county? That's a good thought. 